In this video, we'll sketch a couple of graphs in polar coordinates. Consider the equation of the polar curve r equals sine of theta. We'll plot some points to sketch out the curve. First, we'll create a table of r and theta values. And I'm going to pick theta values that give me nice kind of clean known values for r. So let's start with theta being 0. Sine of 0 is 0. How about pi over 6. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Pi over 3, sine of that is root 3 over 2. Pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1. And then we proceed with known values from the unit circle. So I'll fill out this chart. And at 2 pi, I'm back at 0. So we have our table here. When theta is 0, r is 0. When theta is pi over 6, so we're looking at counterclockwise direction, pi over 6, we have a value of 1 half. We'll say this is 1, so that's 1. Pi over 6, I have a radius of a half. At pi over 3, I have a radius of root 3 over 2. At pi over 2, I have a radius of 1. and so on. And back at pi, I'm at 0. At 7 pi over 6, at 7 pi over 6, I notice that my r value is negative a half. If it were a half, then my coordinate would be out here. But because the, radi the r value is negative 1 half, we actually plot it 180 degrees across. So 7 pi over 6 comma negative 1 half is plotted at this point. 4 pi over 3, so there's my angle, 4 pi over 3, negative root 3 over 2 is plotted here. 3 pi over 2 as an angle measure comma negative 1 for my rate my r value is plotted up here 5 pi over 3 comma negative root 3 over 2 is plotted here 11 pi over 6 comma negative 1 half is plotted here and then we're back to 2 pi 0 so here's my curve Let's consider a second polar curve, r equals cosine of 2 theta. In this case, instead of plotting points, we're going to employ a little bit of a different approach to sketching the graph. Now when theta increases from 0 to pi over 4, we know that r ranges from 1 to 0. Now the direction is counterclockwise as r is 1 when theta is 0 and it's 0 when theta is pi over 4. Again, r is 1 when theta is 0, and it's 0 when theta is pi over 4. So I start here, and the orientation is this direction. So that was when theta was ranging from 0 to pi over 4. R was ranging between 1 and 0 in that order. When theta increases from pi over 4 to pi over 2, we know that R ranges from 0 to negative 1. 
So we started from 0 to pi over 4. This increment now, we're looking from pi over 4, these are theta values, to pi over 2. Our range is between 0 and negative 1. When theta is between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 4, our range is from negative 1 to 0. When theta is between 3 pi over 4 to pi, our range is from 0 to 1. Now this coordinate is at negative 1, 0 because we're looking when theta is pi, so we're already oriented along this negative x axis, and the value at pi of r is 1. So our coordinate in polar coordinates is pi 1. This is my theta and this is my r value. That translates to negative 1, 0 in rectangular coordinates. Let's proceed. When theta increases from pi to 5 pi over 4, our range is from 1 to 0. So when theta is pi over four, 5 pi over 4, which would be in this direction, that's my theta being 5 pi over 4, the value is 0 for r. So we see we come back. to the origin. I'm going to change colors here just to give you a little bit of a clearer picture here. Now let's take a look when theta is between 5 pi over 4 and 3 pi over 2. Now you may be wondering why I'm choosing these theta values. They're essentially the theta values that give me points at which my r value is a 0 or a 1 or negative 1. And that allows me to at least connect the points knowing the orientation of the curve. And I've picked the points that will give me those nice clean values. You don't have to do it this way, but this is one, of, one approach. Between 5 pi over 4 and 3 pi over 2, let's take a look at what r would be. We range between 0 so cosine of 2 times 5 pi over 4 would give me cosine of 5 pi over 2, which is 0. So we range from 0 when theta is 3 pi over 2. I obtain cosine of 2 times that. That gives me negative 1. So at 3 pi over 2 as my angle measure, the r value is negative 1, which brings me up here. When theta increases from 3 pi over 2 to 7 pi over 4, r ranges from negative 1. So 3 pi over 2 comma negative 1 gives me this coordinate to 0. So we come back. And when theta finally increases from 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi, cosine of 2 times 7 pi over 4 is the 0 here. 2 pi in place of theta gives me r being 1. So I come back, connect. And this curve is actually called a four petal rose. Let's confirm this graph using our calculator. And here we have cosine of 2 theta in our calculator, and we'll graph it.
And there's our four petal rose.